Stacia? Well, the Tulsa City County Library celebrating colorful artwork and children's literature with an event called Books to Treasure. Here to tell us about this annual celebration, Laura Raphael with the library. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's fun to be here. So we want to talk about first uh, this book and this uh, illustrator who's going to be coming to Tulsa soon. Yes. So Books to Treasure is a, a it's really a month-long celebration with that culminates um, and Rafael Lopez this year, our illustrator, um, will be at the Hardesty Library Friday evening at 7 o'clock. But every second grader in Tulsa County gets a free book illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Um, and that's every year we bring in a different illustrator, but he's our illustrator this year. So is this the book they're getting here, Tito, Tito Puente? Tito Puente Mambo King. It's a bilingual book. Oh, I uh, love this. It, it's written by Monica Brown, but Rafael Lopez. Beautiful. It, it's gorgeous, isn't it? There's so much going on, so colorful and vibrant and really captures um, the, the energy. Tito Puente was a real life musician um, who was born in Spanish Harlem and became a band leader, very popular, brought Latino music really to this country. And who, you know, passed away and a lot of kids don't know who he is, so I think that's really, really cool. Um, tell us about the big event coming up on Friday where folks can actually meet Rafael Lopez. They can meet Rafael Lopez, and the kids who got the book can bring it and have him sign it. Oh, that's so say. cool. So he'll be talking about his in, uh, inspirations for his artwork. Um, he, does, he does not just uh, children's books, but he does murals uh, around the world, actually. Mm. Uh, He'll be talking about his artwork and his, his inspirations and then signing books. And there will be books for sale as well. And that's fantastic. And so this is obviously, this is nothing new. The Books to Treasure. You say you still have kids using these little yes. Books to Treasure library cards yes. after so many years. How does that make you feel? I mean, that's got to be pretty rewarding. Oh, it's fantastic. We, and we look at the statistics and I think 75% of the kids who have gotten the library cards in the last 14 years are still using them. So mm. we still have, it's, and as a librarian, when, when you see an adult basically come in with their, the card that they got as a seven-year-old, and it's still a point of pride for them, it's very exciting. That's fantastic. And yeah. I want to see if we can show this graphic one more time, the Rafael Lopez graphic. We showed it briefly earlier, but again, it's, it's the month-long event.